Hi student, in this video we will explore civil 3D interface in much detail. On the side node you can see we have quick access toolbar. It gives you access to often used tools. By default, it includes the QNew command which create new drawing from the default template set in options. Here we have these all commands in key quick new access toolbars. You also find the workspace drop down menu here in this bar and you can add commands to this menu by clicking the drop down to the right of the toolbar and selecting the desired commands. You can also right click an icon on the ribbon and choose add to quick access toolbar here we have many commands which we can add to our this toolbar next we have uh, Autodesk 360 exchange store community help and search I already uh, explained that in the previous video if you want to watch you can explore my previous video about help section then expand or minimize ribbons you can use this these are our panels ribbon panels we call them ribbon panels you must need to know these names because I will use these name in the next chapters so you will must get familiar about these names its navigation cube you can use it according to your uh, drawing it's our tool space i will get you detail video about tool space because it's very uh, important element of civil 3d when you are working with uh, any object in civil 3d then you must have visible tool space and you must need to know about tool space functions here we have navigation bars which can be help to zoom in zoom out and drag your objects in drawing space on the right side we have transparent command toolbar it's actually uh, these are very uh, important command which you can select as per your own that which will visible to you here and you can use them as per your requirement during the design work here you can see as like AutoCAD we have model and layout tabs management usually we use model but when we uh, get friends layout then we use these layout tabs so these some commands are snap settings annotative and scales which you will use to alter your drawing and which will help you to get better design and the last thing which i want to tell you here you have command bar it's really help you when you will communicate with your command bar then it will really help you to learn if you are new it will really help you to understand any command when you will follow this command so if we go to the panels ribbons some panels can expand to show additional tools here you can see if you click it the panel will expand like this and additional tools are display which you can see also when the panel are expanded you have the option to lock the expansion in place by toggling the pin on the bottom here when you will click on this pin it will lock your panel this expanded view will be locked as long as the ribbon tab is not switched and switching to another tab the expanded panel will minimize to the 
default view so you can see here we have not any expanded panel but some of them have expanded panel and you can pin this so it will not go back when you will click on any another then you can see it will unpin and then you can move to another panel you can then hover and uh, click the icon in the upper left of the floating panel to return to the panel original table ribbon so you now we can drag our panels like them and making we can set anywhere our panel on screen to get help so when you will hover your cursor and then you can place them again on the same place there's also a button there for toggling the orientation of floating panel so these are especially these are panels and tabs are really need to know about civil 3d in the next video i will explore prospector tab to space which have four tabs prospector settings survey and toolbox if you want to know about these all features in civil 3d stay tuned